I started practicing it because I believe this world, we are in a kind of war war. You won't have to fortify yourself. I'm here to fight, nothing more. I never know all these things will stand by me. So for him to be mentioning, go to TB Joshua. Me, <laughs> all these things will be with him for them. Me, I know she'll see it real low. I don't have like I don't have family. I fight with my mom, my dad, my younger ones, my header ones, even friends. This is our new neighbor. One day this man will enter my trap. Can you believe I can even be confronting 20 people? If they will give me, I don't mind. Please like, share, hit the notification button, and please leave comments. I really want to know what you think about this video. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for subscribing. God bless. Love you. Hello, this is Emma from Tema. How are you all doing? And how is life with everyone? You know things are really tough, but God himself is keeping us. Can you all please tell me in the comments how you're doing? Because I'd like to know if anything. Well, I pray for you guys every time. But I love to hear from you. How you doing? Because you all ask me how I'm doing. All right. I'd like to know too. Okay. So we are here at Squan again. Follow me. Let's watch. And that was how she was liberated to the glory of God. Ma, you're welcome. Kindly introduce yourself, introduce the people standing beside you, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Good morning. My name is Anolua Paul Shashono. Here is my brother, his wife, and my father. I'm here to testify to the glory of God, what God has done in my family. Last week, Sunday, I received my deliverance, and my brother also received his deliverance. I was mentally disturbed, so I received my deliverance from mental disorder. Why, on Sunday, when the evangelist was coming straight to me, I feel so hot inside me, and something came out of me immediately, it touched me. That is how I was delivered. And my brother also received his deliverance. So you mean, when the evangelist prayed for you, you felt something left you? Of course. So after the healing, what changes have you noticed? I've not been able to sleep well, but now I can sleep very well. I am not destroying things anymore. I used to destroy things before and fight, but now I feel so calm now. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of encouragement to people listening to you? My word of advice and encouragement for people out there and the viewers is that they should stick on to God. It's only God. Nobody can do it except God. Yes, indeed. God is the author and finisher of our faith. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. You mentioned that your brother was also delivered. Let's listen to him. Sir, so you're welcome. Please introduce yourself and share with us your wonderful testimony. Good morning, Judge. My name is Oluwa Femi Oshashuna. Standing here with me are my family, my sister, my wife, and my father. <laughs> I, it all started while I was young. I was a young boy. And then I used to believe, because I met my father in uh, worshipping all these things. So... I at a at a point I, I started doing it on my own, all this I do stuff. So at a point I started doing it on my own. So I started practicing it because I believe this world <laughs> we are in a kind of war world that the one have to fortify himself. So at the point itself, I even learned boxing, believing that I'm here to fight, nothing more. 
Know that whatever you do, your children are watching and they will also want to do it. We have to be careful what we portray before our children so they will pick up the right things that we do and not the bad ones. You can say you are a Christian and then you go to the witch doctor. Your children are watching that. They might end up doing the same thing, but show them the right way because the right way is only Jesus Christ. So I never know all these things will stand by me when I grew up. Now I'm, I'm a man now and all those things are fighting back at me. Even in my marriage, my father is here. I've, in many times I've had issue with him. We have not been, a, I have not played a father and son role with my father due to anger issue. I've always destroyed things in, in the house. Even my wife, after when I got married, I've not been having a peaceful uh, marriage. I used, when we had issue, <laughs> she would even take anything that she knew I might, I might destroy away from me. Her phone is my target. First, I want to break that phone. She will run away and took the phone along with her. So that is how I've started living my life. She like, grew up. So I've never, when I started coming up, I knew my father not to be somebody that I used to really believe in God like that. So for him to be mentioning, go to T.B. Joshua. Go to David Joshua, go to Synagogue uh, Church. That, that, that is, he believes in that church. You don't know why he believes. I said, ah, for my dad to believe. Okay, let me also give it a try. So I said, okay, I would come. With my mind of uh, me. <laughs> All these things where people they fall down. Me, I know she was saying real low. Let me come and give it a try. When the man of God was coming to me, I was so strong in myself that I you mean not, the evangelist? Yes, the evangelist. I was believing I would not fall down. I was even very strong. Until, I don't know. I, it was as if I was controlled under remote. <laughs> I just fell. So, as I fell down, I was brought up again. Another, let me get, I fell down again. Ah. I don't believe who I beg me now free me. I don't <laughs> I don't believe you. So, I think, maybe, I don't know, maybe God touches the heart of that usher that was standing next to me that this guy, he did not believe you. I want him to believe. The guy took me again to the next line. To the next line, when they were delivering others. I was delivering, I fell down again. Ah, I never even want to stand up again like, hey, I don't know why I want TikTok. Say, Bro, I better free me now. He took me again to the next line again. At that point, I don't even want to stand up. They raised me. I said, I'm delivered. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So, and that was how you received your deliverance. Exactly. So, we thank God for what God Almighty has done in your life. After your deliverance, what are the changes you have noticed? Uh, talking about the changes, I change you, really change, because normally, when I do have issues with my wife, the 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 odd thing time, I used to believe that if one is uh, angry with one, <laughs> when you to say I'm sorry, it should be over. But I'm sorry gets me more angry. Like somebody put petrol inside fire. That is when I became angry more, and I started fighting, I beating her. This thing almost ruined my marriage. I must be honest. That must ruin my marriage. But now, I'm very simple. I do things easily. I'm so tough to extend that even if I'm driving. Ha. If, if somebody drives rubbish for me, if this is my way, I don't mind taking another way to follow that person. Just to insult the person. Just to insult the person. But now I'm changed. I will not even wind down now. Over here we call it road rage. If you chase someone these days, they are killing people a lot concerning that. You chase someone to go and insult a person, they will kill you. So people don't do that, even if it's an anger, don't do it. And I want to say something concerning the ushers. I so much appreciate this ushers. Maybe you should give a clap offering to God for them. They are doing a great job. And maybe we don't notice that, but they are 
always there helping. They are doing a wonderful job and I pray for them that God will always bless them because everything that they are doing and God will reward them. God to Joshua's people don't take gifts. So because I've been there, I try to offer some of them, they won't take it. So pray for them. It's very important that you pray for this ushers. They need our prayers for God to work through them, just like the guy is saying. All right? Thank you. I will not even wind down. <laughs> I will just maintain my peace. This morning, my wife did something that, because those things that used to cause issues are just minor issues. But I will take it like, even when we want to narrate the story, say, we have no point to share about. But this morning, she did something that I'm supposed to go angry over. But I just took it like, I'm the labor. Don't come and enjoy my life. <laughs> That's what so you mentioned that the spirit of anger affected your relationship with your dad. Can you tell us more about that? It affected my relationship with my dad. So because when it comes to me, I don't have like I don't have family. The reason I said I don't have family is I've spoiled everything. I fight with my mom, my dad. My younger ones, my header ones, even friends. Because I'm a, I'm a kind of anger type that when it comes to me, even I was telling my wife someday that this is our new neighbor at first flat. One day, this man will enter my trap. The person will not offend me. <laughs> that is me. I used to go and grizzly. I can even look you and say, Oga. No try me. <laughs> even if someone, even if you will beat me, can you believe I can even be confronting 20 people? If they will kill me, I don't mind, but I would stand to fight them. That is how the anger works. So after your deliverance, how has been your relationship with your dad? Um, for now, I will use this medium to really apologize more to my dad by telling him <laughs> because she has been managing and tolerating my stupidity. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So we thank God for what God Almighty has done in your life. So after your deliverance, what is the word of advice you have for people that went through the similar challenge you went through in the past? Well, I believe uh, many people might be in this kind of challenge as well. Most are not ordinary. And even if it is ordinary or is not ordinary, I believe there is nothing God cannot do. Because God created us and he never created us for evil. You know that? So I believe if you seek God, if you come to God, God will deliver you as he has already delivered me and my family. So we thank God for the goodness of God in your life. Let's listen to your wife. Ma, you're welcome. We can see you smiling to the glory of God. This is an evidence that God has done it indeed. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us more about what your husband has said? I am Mrs. Oluwashio Ushashono. I'm just a testifier to what God has done in his life because it was really tough. It was tough. He's a very violent person that even if he's going out, once he's five minutes away from Uma, we have to call him. Hello, please don't fight too. Remember you have kids at home. Please do because I am not rest assured over him at all. He's very violent at home. Domestic violence, any little thing, he nag, he beats me. At the end, he will start apologizing. Even I was sick, I was being operated. And at the hospital, we were having issues. Sometimes it is the nurse that we say, ah, man, are you supposed to be doing this at this time? He doesn't care. It affected our marriage, the only God opposed us to now because my family member were fed up. At the hospital, when my family member was there, he was fighting me, asking me I shouldn't come home. Tell your people, if you come home, I might kill you. So once I kill you, thank God I've told them right in their presence. But glory be to God now, he's fine. He's handling things maturely and I'm happy over it. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus?
So what are the changes you have noticed the name after his deliverance? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So what are the changes you have noticed the name after his deliverance? Yes, he's calm because even his children can testify to me that my dad is very wicked. He does not tolerate even his children at all. But glory be to God now he is calm. When we are going, driving, some driver might do something. I'll be expecting him to talk. But I will not, I will say thank God. Though. Definitely God of Synagogue Church of All Nation is really at work. So with this wonderful work of God in the life of your husband, what is your word of advice to people out there? My word of advice is any situation we find ourselves, let us bring all to God. And as a woman, let us keep enduring and praying for our husband because he might be under some issues. So let's just come to God, especially God of synagogue of, of all nations. He is indeed God. We thank God for what God has done. Let's listen to your father in law. So you're welcome. Please kindly introduce yourself and tell us more about what your children have said. Uh, my name is uh, Chief Osha Chono uh, from Equity State. What my children have said is truth. So uh, my own house, we are idol worshiper and i myself have been a native doctor for so long but since i've been worshiping uh Emmanuel tv i said this is real church of god in which i i said nothing You can see and hear from an idol worshipper and herbalist. He said it himself that he can see that Synagogue Church of All Nations is a true church. Because they know. They know. So whoever will deceive you that this church is not of God, turn him down. Turn it down. All right? So, I said I will be coming to this church. Wait, but if I want to come, something will just demand me not to come. But... My children, uh, my daughter half issue. Then I said, you this girl, I must carry you come to synagogue church of audition because I know you will eat. Then I started begging him, borrow money to give him. I gave him money for so many times, but she refused to come. But at last, she, I brought her here last week, Sunday, because I know she will eat and she eat. So she was delivered. Then, my son, this is my son. She don't issue of this uh, anger. In fact, torment everything. I know it's uh, this uh, idol that tormented us for all these things. So we don't used to talk for so many years. Then I have to call his mom, his senior sister, to talk to him because I love him very well before the issue uh, occur. So, uh, but we don't used to talk. I said I want him to come to synagogue church of all nation to deliver. Then, so they told him, they appealed to him, so they came. We met here. We, I, I did not know that he's coming, but we just met here last Sunday. So when, <laughs> so by the time I saw him delivered, so when I was in uh, canteen, when we are eating with my dad's daughter and junior sister, I saw him coming, running to me, come hug me, tight hug. Say, ah, daddy, daddy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is spirit of anger. It is this something that caused it. Please kindly forgive me. I've changed. Then I now thank God. You mean he came to apologize to you after I received his deliverance? Yes, he came to apologize with me after he's delivered. And for how long has he spoken to you last before that deliverance? It's yes. Yes. She used to come beside my house. She will not enter my place. He will not come to my place. We don't talk. Even I saw him when I entered, I did not even talk to him. We don't used to talk at all, even with his uh, wife. We don't used to talk. But after he's delivered, he came to me. We share. Then we ate together. 
We are together, we do everything together, drown together, and... Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So how do you feel seeing your son as a new being now, a new person in Christ? In fact, my son now uh, is my friend, is my lover, is everything to me now. So we thank God for what God Almighty has done in your family. So with this wonderful work of God, what is your word of advice to people listening to you? My word of advice is anybody that has a problem, please run to Jesus. I know I've, as I've, uh, uh, I, I've never seen a church like synagogue God of all nations in this world because I know what they used to do. Let me tell you another fact. This, uh, by coming here, it is not that I have money. This thing has tormented us that everything run upside down for all of us. We don't have money. Even the money that brought us here was, they dashed us. So, uh, I thank God. Please, everybody that have problem, run to God. Run, come to synagogue church of all nations. You will be delivered. I heard him talk about him beating his wife, that is domestic violence. And if he's here, they might jail him or something. Whereby over here, they don't know that it's caused by the evil spirits, that people need to be delivered from that. I mean, all of it, I'm not going to say some of it, because no person in the right mind would just be beating their wife unnecessarily, whereby the wife is not your dog. We don't beat your dog that way. So therefore, people, my people of God, if you know somebody who is doing that, please refer them to Squan, refer them to Hojim, refer them to all the places where they can go for deliverance so that they'll be free from it and they will be able to love their family and give glory to God. All right? Love you all. This is the end of the story. <laughs> love you, love you, love you. And stay blessed. And may the Lord keep his angels around you all. I love you, love you, love you. This is Emma from Tema. God bless you. Nous venons d'entendre l'extraordinaire témoignage de Lou Afemi, accompagné de sa famille. Ils ont tous partagé comment Dieu a transformé leur vie. Monsieur Olu Afemi raconte qu'il avait fait face à la colère. Il avait des soucis de col colère intense. Cela a affecté son foyer, sa relation avec son père, avec toute sa famille. Il dit que voilà, il faisait des choses, il se fâchait, il se réalisait même pas qu'il était en colère. Euh, il dit que sa famille euh, l'a encouragé de venir ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations. fue completamente libre, su hermano también vino con un problema de espíritu de enojo que afectaba sus relaciones con su familia, con su esposa porque todo le causaba eh, enojo y peleaba constantemente, él recibió esa liberación y ahora su familia ha sido completamente restaurada su esposa viene para testificar de la calma que él ha recibido y de la restauración que hay en su hogar eh, acabamos de ver aquí en directo como él pidió perdón a su padre y su padre Padre también testifica que antes era ídolo, eh, adoraba a ídolos, pero ahora ve Emanuel TV y sirve a Dios y le agradece por lo que él ha hecho en su familia.